Steve Geller's stuttering didn't make growing up any easier. It's definitely had a a, a profound I impact on m my life and and on I think the way the way my personality has uh, developed. Purdue University speech scientist Christine Weber Fox and her research team have found that even when stutterers are not speaking, their brains work differently. People that stutter process the sounds of our language differently from people that don't stutter. They observed that stutterers had greater activity in the left side of the brain than the right, while normal speakers had balanced activity across both hemispheres. As reported in the Journal of Speech, Language, and Hearing Research, they measured the activity of brain cells through the scalp using a specially designed cap wired up with electrodes. The brain activity of adults who stutter was compared with non-stutterers. A word on a screen flashed, and then right after, another word flashed, and they had to decide whether those two words rhymed or not. The volunteers responded silently by pressing a button, forcing them to say the words to themselves. Some word pairs like flown, and sewn looked similar, while others did not. What we found was that people that stutter take longer in telling us that, that, that those two words don't rhyme. Weber Fox says this shows that the more complex a language task, the harder it is for stutterers to process words. But she reminds us that other factors such as emotion, anxiety, and genetics work together to make people like Geller stutter. I'm Orrin Schoenfeld.